Hello, this is Arsalan and you're watching Growth Mindset. In today's tutorial, we're going to see that how we may convert the numerics into words. The Excel does not have a built-in feature for it, but at the same time, we can have a workaround. So let's just see that how it works. But before that, down in the comment section and in the description box, the link has been given from where you can copy the code. So let's dive straight into the example and see how it works. Let's see how we can convert a number to words. We will apply a choose formula over here, which is a simple formula. And we are going to see that how this can help us to convert the numbers to words. But at the same time, we'll also see its limitations. We select choose from here. And we're going to give the first argument as index number, which is going to be this cell. And now we are going to give the values. The first value is going to be 1, second is going to be 2, third is 3, fourth, 4, 5, 5, and so on. We select all of these values just to give you an idea that how this formula works. Once all these values have been selected, we close the brackets and we press enter and now we have 5 written over here and it has converted to 5 we change it to 4 it changes to 4 we change it to 10 it changes it to 10 any figure you change and it changes accordingly but there are limitations to this formula if we once again go inside this formula we see that it is showing value 1 2 3 4 and these values can go up to an extent of 254 so we can go up to 254 numbers and after that it is not going to work this is the first limitation of the choose formula and the second limitation is that if we are going to give the index number which is the first number which is this one it is going to be lesser than one then it is going to give value error in return we have given 10 values over here if you're going to give 11th value then it is going to return an error for instance if we write over here 11 it is going to give us an error likewise if you're going to give anything which is going to be below than 1 again it is going to give us an error because anything which is going to be in decimal is truncated to the lowest integer so we are going to type for instance 0.9 and it gives an error if you're going to type 1 it is going to give 1 but if you're going to type anything below 1 it is going to give error it is not going to give us in decimal places so this is the second limitation and the third limitation is that if the index number argument is a fraction it is truncated to the lowest integer for instance if i have 1.2 it is going to give 1 if i give 5.5 it is going to give 5 if i'm going to give 9.9 .9, it is going to give 9 so if the index number argument is a fraction it is truncated to the lowest integer now we are going to move on to a better option where we can convert and the numerics to words and excel doesn't have a default function that displays number as english words in a worksheet but you can add this capability by pasting the spell number function code into the vba module for that you can see the description box comment section where the link has been given and through that link you can access the microsoft page where you can convert numbers to words and here it is once on this page we select all of this chunk of code we copy it by pressing ctrl c then we go back to the worksheet here we press alt f11 which takes us to microsoft visual basic for application and here in insert we go to module and here we paste all of the function we go through the function to see that if there are any problems this is line break so we're going to bring this to the next line and 
we are going to see for any other errors this is the line break so we don't need to have another line over here it just removes the line it seems pretty much okay to me now now we're going to save this file for instance I'm saving it on my one of my folders and here Excel macro enabled template this is going to be saved as Excel macro enabled template because now we have a VBA code working for this file and this is the suitable option for saving as the file type we save it now we will use spell number function for getting our desired results we are going to press is equal to spell number we select it and we select the cell where we are going to write a number close the bracket press enter and for instance if we write 1234.2 and now you can see $1,234.23. We're going to increase the size of this figure. And it has changed accordingly. So this formula is working perfectly fine for us. Now what if, if we want this in uppercase? So we can just use the upper formula over here. And together with that, we can use spell number formula and now we select the cell close the cell we press enter we have one more bracket to put to close the upper formula and now it is appearing in upper case likewise if you want to go for the lower case you can select lower and we have spell number formula selected now we select the cell from where we want to convert numerics to words we close the spell number formula we close the lowercase formula we press enter and here we have the lowercase for it what if if we want to change the currency over here as we see that it is converting the currency in dollars we can change that by pressing alt f11 we can go once again into our microsoft visual basic for application where we have the code and here we press ctrl h and we want to find dollars and we want to change it with euros we press replace all okay we close it we save it we close this screen and here again we just write spell number we select it from here we select the cell we close the cell we press enter and here we can see that it's stating 64,848,749 euros previously it was dollars and now it has converted to euros so you can change the currency in this way well that's all for today thanks for joining me if you like the content then make sure that you hit the like subscribe and the bell button see you soon take care and bye bye